Hey, welcome to Tech Tips with me, Jacob. Today we have an episode about uh, chroma key versus luma key and also how to set it up on a OC Duet. We got a comment earlier uh, about how to set it up on a green screen or chroma key on a specifically OC Duet. And since I'm going to do that anyways, I figured why not go through and actually explain what's what so you know what it is you're trying to achieve with the different tools you have. So whatever. So chroma key is the general term for like green screen or blue screen, which is taking a kind of extreme color and telling the, the mixer to remove that color and keep the rest. Uh, usually if you have like a green screen and doing the weather, you have green behind you, nothing green on you per se, otherwise that disappears as well. All right, so to set it up, uh, you can see here on the screen, I have a very beautiful green screen set up. It says green screen. And uh, we're going to go into the menus. And uh, first of all, you need to check which type of key you have activated on your OC. And in this case, we have chroma key picked right there. So that will then activate on the key that says chroma key on it. All right. And uh, we're going to go back on menu. And then two down, you see chroma key. What you need to do here is first pick where your chroma key is going to be. And in this case, it's on in one. Uh, otherwise, you're, uh, it won't really work if you don't pick where it's going to come from. So pick the one that is green that you're going to apply the effect on. So that is number one. Go back. Uh, you can do masks and resizing it if you want to have the little head on the bottom. But right now, we're just showing you how to activate it. Uh, if you're going to do a uh, green or have a different color or you see that your color isn't the one chosen there, then you turn on the sample right there, on and off. And if you don't uh, have the right part of your picture, then you go up a little bit and it says an X and a Y position and it'll pick what part of the screen it's picking the color from. So if you accidentally get the, the black, then you're accidentally on the actual letter. So you just have to move it around a bit to find the green and it'll sample the green color. And then you should be just about good to go. All right, then uh, you have to have something to uh, key to. So you have to have a picture behind. So in this case, we have a very nice uh, lake picture from the center of Sweden. So you activate it there. All right, so let's see if we can actually green screen the green out of this by pushing um, key and then on air. There you go. So the black text remains, but the green has been removed. And that's the general consensus, the general uh, part of chroma key. You take what's around it away. But now say if I wanted to take uh, just the black text away, then there is something called a luma key. And the luma goes for uh, the extreme dark or bright like luminance. So that's what it's keying away. So if you have a big white field, you can remove the white. Or if you have a black field, you can remove the black. So we're going to go back again and pick a different key. So turn this off. And we're also going to switch this picture, so give me one second, to a other beautiful picture that says Luma key. Make it so easy for you to follow along, isn't it great? Right, back to menu, back out of chroma key, uh, pick key type, type, and now we're going to go into, uh, not pattern, but Luma key. So now it is supposed to put away the black or white instead. So let's hop into the Luma key menu. Here you just choose which one again is the channel you're going to do your effects on. In this case, it is again uh, channel one or in one because I just switched the input on it. And this is what happens if you haven't picked the right source to go through. So let's see, it was still one. Go back, activate. There you go. Uh, so now it actually has a funny effect of being uh, everything black of the picture behind is also coming through. If I choose a different key now, I'll give you a different effect. So if I go back to one, now the text is removed and you see through it and that's the background and the sky and the water behind is what's coming through. But if you wanted the different effect uh, and taking just away the blacks and uh, showing the blacks, then you can actually use a picture instead and then you get this cool uh, kind of black and white picture instead. 
So as you can see, Luma key takes away and you can see through it and the green screen takes away the green. Now, if you made the text green instead, it would do the same effect of taking away the green in the text and leaving the white. But there you have it. That is how you set up the different keys in the ghost stream itself. This is the duet again. And uh, this is also the difference between Luma and Chroma uh, in general, like uh, as it functions. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to comment. We do read them, uh, trying to get through them all. But uh, again, this video is because of the comments. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.